kubor kabati si TV. Lawan rasa pi tak ke Frank Motors. I am Tata Punch. Price starting at 5.80 lakhs. Ringkat bat ke net foodish. Or dar ma pi ngin wan ra amangi hakir do bieng jong pi. Ke NSS sel jong ke school ba ikfai university shilong. Hak sengi sa jain ke kalai terik unai lar arajar arfuar. Kalarak hee ya ke sengi lai luat ke bah nyuf san senem jong kari india da ke bah pelong ye ke program bah pera pera hapok ke ni ke jaka pulih. Hashwa ban stang ye gani ke jing rakhi la penher ye ke lama lai rong jong kari india da i vice chancellor ke ni ke school ba mat hadian ke ni la penbuat pat saya ke jing keren na ke vice chancellor ke dr. Miss Alisha Gatpo bat ke jing keren na ke registrar ke dr. Mrs. I.B. Buyan ke bah keren cepang ke horrors of partition remembrance day. Layak ruh kejengkeran na u deputy registrar exams u Dr. Surajit Sen u belong ruh unong penyiat yang kini kejengalang yang kini kesengi. La pensyong kun cucu yang kini kesengi dan kejengsyat bat kejeng ruai na kisamla pulih jong kini kesekul bak. celebrating today is something which we have received not at an easy cost. Millions of people sacrificed their lives to give us the freedom which we are celebrating today. There was a big resistance in the year 1857 which we call as boy mutiny, some do call it the first war of India's independence, where the valiant soldiers of our country fought against the Britishers to give India freedom. Their attempt may not have been successful at that point in time, but they definitely ignited within each and every Indian the spirit to fight against the Britishers, the outsiders, to give freedom to our motherland. Slowly, the moment, uh, the, this gained momentum and different people, whether it's from the commoners to the people who are affluent in the Indian society, they all joined hands to fight against the Britishers. They fought with their might. They were not afraid to sacrifice their lives. They were happy to go down to the gallows because for them, freedom of the country was more important than their own lives. We salute the spirit of all these people who sacrificed themselves for the freedom of our country. Oh, 
so enthused that I feel as if I need to sing too. And therefore, I'll just sing two lines of a song which was, uh, you know, sung in a particular Hindi movie called Razi. I'm not sure how many of you have watched this movie. But I, I really love this particular song. And I'll just sing two lines of that particular song. <laughs> ऐ वतन वतन मेरे आबाद रहे तू आबाद रहे तू मैं जहां रहूं जहां मैं याद रहे तू ऐ वतन मेरे वतन roughly translated thank you roughly translated this particular song i mean the, the lines that i sang means that Oh my country, oh my beloved country, uh, may you remain prosperous forever. Wherever I go, may you be there with me forever. So now, I would like to call upon the students who are going to perform a Kasi cultural dance. Now, this particular, through this particular dance, they are trying to show to the world that they are the future generation. Who, whose future will be extremely bright. And we hope for that, definitely. After 75 years of independence, we hope that everyone's future is bright. So I welcome them. Please welcome them with a round of applause. sacrifice of the freedom fighters and the martyrs for whom today we can breathe in a free democratic country. The event of independence and partition of 1947 is not without painful reminiscences. We pay homage today to those who were affected during this event. With this note, I would like to call on our registrar, Dr. Indrani B. Buyan, to talk to us a little bit about the horrors of partition, a remembrance. Now. 
as we stand here today, listening to the children sing the national anthem, and when we see the tricolor fluttering around us, we have a sense of satisfaction, a sense of achievement that yes, we are living as free citizens in our independent country. But this independence was not a cakewalk, a, a walk in the park for us. Innumerable people laid down their lives to give us what we have today. Today, we celebrate the 75th year of our independence, but prior to that, it was a painful scenario. Today, the 14th of August is observed to commemorate the victims and the sufferings of the partition of India. The entire process of the partition was very, very painful. And innumerable people lost their lives. It affected mainly two provinces, that of Bengal and that of Punjab. People simply walked, they traveled on bullock cart, they traveled on horse cart, they, they traveled on whatever means they could get, just with the hope that they would be in a place which would have been safe for them. But that journey was not an easy one. Many lost their lives, many lost their near and dear ones. There was violence, there was bloodshed, and people were simply lost. But they traveled and traveled and traveled. And this partition was demanded by the great leader of Pakistan, M.A. Jinnah. He wanted it because he was afraid that in this country, post-independence, the Muslims wouldn't feel safe. So he wanted that a separate homeland be created for the Muslims. And thus, the two provinces of Bengal and Punjab were broken. Today's Bangladesh, the then East Pakistan, decided to be a part of Pakistan and Punjab on the other side again decided to be a part of Pakistan. But it was not an easy journey. It was not at all an easy journey. People starved. There was pestilence. People suffered. People walked. People traveled. And they were only thinking that perhaps if we reach that place, which perhaps today we would call utopia, that was their land of, the, of their dreams. A land where they would, where they felt their rights would be protected, and they would be protected, their religion would be protected. It was to the common man, I am sure a lot of people did not understand what it all meant. They were simply led and they walked on, they traveled on. Now this partition also led to the division of the British Indian Army, the Royal Indian Navy, the Indian Civil Services, the railways and the central treasury. In fact, partition marked the end of the British rule in India and on the midnight of 14th August 1947, the two countries were created. And hence, Pakistan celebrates their Independence Day today. We celebrate it tomorrow because it came to us on the, uh, or it came to us at midnight of 14th. And you know, about 10 to 20 million people were displaced. Only 
along religious lines. Yes, we understand, we know. Religion plays a very big role in our lives. It really does. It determines our lifestyle. It determines everything about us. And when we feel that religion is at stake, then people kind of, you know, uh, then, then people become very restless. So the people moved on, they moved on, and they moved on. So violence and bloodshed and misery were the order of the day. Girls were kidnapped, boys were lost, the elderly died. It was miserable and people simply moved. Now, there were, three, there were several causes which led to this horror that we call partition. And here, I would just like, before I go to talk about the, the causes of the partition, I recall my mother, who would have a neighbor who apparently belonged to the state of Punjab. She was, she lost her entire family during the partition and she was a lone survivor and somehow or the other she came all the way to Assam to Dibrugarh and my mother would tell me that you know this lady would keep her radio set on it would be on even if there was no program being broadcast and at that time the radio would make a lot of noise if there was no program being aired and she would leave it there in full volume. And she would tell when, you know, the neighbors and the children asked her, why are you doing this? She says, that noise helps me to take my mind away from the horrors that I have seen. It somehow distracts her because she could not ever get over the horrors. I have also seen People, displaced people after the Bangladesh war. There was a girl in my aunt's family who lost her entire family during the war. That is being displaced. And this was even larger at that time during the partition. So this is a day which we will never ever like to forget because this is the day when we recall the horrors of partition. We recall the horrors of bloodshed, the meaningless horrors of bloodshed, the meaningless death and the meaningless devastation. Thank you. Today, and it would be on the 15th, so two days less, but we are celebrating the 75th year of our independence. Now, can you imagine what would be the excitement of our forefathers when they hoisted the flag at midnight on 15th August 1947? Today, we exalted in it, we enjoyed it. But think about on that day, the 15th, midnight of 15th August 1947, the whole country did not sleep that night. It's not only our forefathers when they hoisted the flag. It's the whole country did not sleep. Everyone awake to welcome what they wanted, what they had fought for. And that was the independence of our country, India. Now, we celebrate it. Why do we celebrate? The reason we celebrate it, it's because each and every one of us we value freedom in our life. We value independence. And that is why when we use the word Independence Day, each and every citizen of the country celebrates it. Now, the Independence Day is an outcome of the fight, the struggle which our forefathers had gone through. It is the outcome of that. They had foreseen it. The British had come as traitors what had been said. British came as traders and eventually they could colonize. Now why did they colonize? 
one reason, which according to me, the one reason is a disunity among the Indian rulers. So disunity among the Indian rulers at that point of time gave the British the upper hand. Gave the British the upper hand and they were able to rule over us. So this is a lesson to be learned to us now. There should be no disunity. Unity is our strength. And disunity is our weakness. So never allow disunity in any form. They had suffered during that time under the British. We were in bondage, but now we are free. We had to struggle. Now, when we talk about the independence of our country, I feel that there are four reasons that help the freedom fighters to achieve independence at, in 1947. One of the factors that led to independence is the infusion of the spirit of Indian nationalism. Now when I talk, when the people of the country, not all of them, knew the meaning of nationalism. They were under bondage. Indian soldiers were loyal to the British. They were paid. They were paid. They were employees. But how do you infuse the spirit? Who awakened them? It's not easy for our freedom fighters like Mahatma Gandhi and all. At that moment of time only to say, yes, let's go fight against the British. Someone had sold the seed and those are the people and today independence day let us also salute the likes of Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Surendranath Banerjee who were the fathers of Indian nationalism they were the ones that had sowed the seed of nationalism that had sowed the seed of liberalism and reaped the fruit and the fruit was when? In 1947. Do you think it's easy? No, it's not easy. But that, but you see, gradually this seed was sold. It was nurtured by the Indians. It was nurtured and it bore fruit in 1947. <laughs>
also to have been given this chance to propose this vote of thanks on behalf of the Iqfa University Meghalaya Shillong on this occasion. Thank you so much sir. And we are all grateful to our freedom fighters who sacrificed everything for the independence of our country. 
So we are also blessed with an enthusiastic leader and the pillars of our university, our Vice Chancellor, Ma'am. Ma'am has always been a beacon of light and a constant source of encouragement in all endeavors. Thank you so much, Ma'am. We are all inspired by your gracious presence, Ma'am. And I also deemed it is my privilege to thank our Madam Registrar also, Ma'am, uh, for her unstinted support and guidance you have extended to all of us, Ma'am. And uh, to quote the word of Gilbert Chesterton, he said, I will maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought, and that gratitude is the happiness doubled by wonder. That being said, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Mom Bowen and the entire NSS team of the Meghalaya Ikfa University for putting together the concerted effort of everyone into a beautiful tapestry of events. Thank you so much, Ma'am. And uh, we also like to take this opportunity to thank all the faculties, the teaching, as well as the non-teaching staff for making this event a very successful one. Thank you so much, everyone. And we'll also like to thank our students for presenting a sense of discipline, uh, punctuality and enthusiasm. Your presence and cooperation is highly commendable. And also we would like to express our deep sense of thankfulness, especially to all the faculty members and the students who arranged those beautiful presentations in the form of arts, dance, music, which depicts our rich heritage culture of our country. And also I would like to thank every one of you, your performance was outstanding, so thank you so much. And...